Hello everyone, this is iPhone XR with no display from a repair shop. So the technician said the phone turns on but uh, no image or no display. So I pushed the power button. It's not in, uh, showing nothing on the screen. It's not a backlight issue because there is no display at all. Alright, yeah, the phone is not uh, not powering on. We push the power button. So I plug it to the charge. So when I plug it to the charge, it's taking about over one amp. And I did hear the phone powering on. So let me see if we can hear it again. Now let's hear it again. Yeah, the phone is, uh, when it's plugged to the charge, is make the noise, the charging uh, sound, and, but is, there is nothing on the screen. So we're going to take it apart and measure the, the diode mode and the display connector, then we go from there. So we're going to read the diode mode in this uh, big connector here. That's for the one for display. This one is for the touch. I'm going to put this one in the ground. The red one in the ground. Then we're going to start read. So in the data lines, it should be like one ground. Then reading. and one reading and one ground so this side here is so ground reading reading ground reading reading ground the other side it will be the first ones here it will be the power lines and for the display and here it will be the backlight uh, voltages so I'm gonna go check start with the power lines so it should be the ground. So I'm going to check all the pins, then I'll show you what uh, the value in the pins should be. All right, so this is the hour connector that we we need to check. And this is the diode mode of the pins. So you can see it's uh, here reading reading ground reading reading ground and this keep going till the end it has open line the other side it's all has a reading except this one here it has an open line the other ones it have they have some reading so and the board that i have all the reading here looks good no problem all the reading matching what is inside the watch in the board usually the and the other XR that I have with no display I found some shirt one of these pens here and that's linked to a capacitor here this capacitor is here so this capacitor here and this filter is a common uh, problem but in this case, we don't have the shirt in the, yeah, it should be this pen. That's what is the common problem. This pen, it tested shirt or open. Like if that filter, if this filter blow, this one here, the, the line is going to test as a shirt, as a open. But if this one of these capacitors this one's here, or even the one here, or the one here is shirted, is you're going to have a shirt in that uh, pen. 
but I didn't have no shirt here. And because all the reading is matching this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and I will change, I will replace the, the chip that's controlling the voltage to the screen. The chip that's controlling the voltage to the screen, you can see here, this is five volt display from this pen, the number two. This pen here is a 1.8 display So these two pens, they're going to tell us where is the chip. So it's not this side. Let's go to the other side. So we go other side of the filter. And I see it here. This is the chip. Is uh, This is the Chisna display the one is uh, controlling the voltage for the screen and if you have every all the reading is good just go ahead and change the chip it sh that should be the mostly should be the problem so and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this chip and we will see if it's uh, going to have the display All right, the chip is located right here. So let's push power button. And we have the Apple logo. So let's see if it's gonna boot to the home screen. It's not all the time the bad chip is going to test short it as this case there was no short in the power line but the chip it was bad it works yeah the touch screen works so that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you again